Hey, I'm Charlie and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna break down alpha lock, clipping masks and layer masks. We'll look at all the differences between these features and more importantly, when to use them. So grab yourself a cozy drink and let's get started. So we're gonna look at alpha lock first. And what alpha lock does is locks everything around the pixels that you've drawn on your canvas. So if I zoom in, really far here, you'll see that this illustration is made up of lots of pixels. And if I remove that background layer, I'm just left with this shape. So what Alpha Lock does is it will lock all of the surrounding area where there are no pixels drawn. To activate Alpha Lock, just click on your layer and go down to Alpha Lock and you'll see that that's been switched on by this checkered background underneath that layer. If I go back, I can also, with two fingers, swipe on the layer to quickly activate alpha lock as well. So those are two ways to get it. I'll go over to my black, and I'm just gonna pick my butter sketch, or maybe my smooth sketcher, just to add some details to the shape now. And this is from my Portrait Essentials, which is part of my Portrait Power Pack for anyone who wants to follow along with these brushes. And I'm just going to add these really nice textured dots all over my dog. I can then also add some nice kind of texture to that tail as well. And as you can see, everything I'm drawing is within that shape. And I'll add some shadows underneath his body as well, just to give it more of a 3D feel. And just like that, I was able to create some details for my illustration using Alpha Lock. The only downside to this is, it will only affect that layer. So for example, if I wanted to then go and change the colors of the spots or maybe the tail, it's going to affect everything on that layer because it's all confined to that one layer. This is the downside of using Alpha Lock but the pro is it does save your layer count. So I'm gonna show you now how to use clipping masks. So clipping masks are essentially the same thing, so you'll get the same result, but it's a non-destructive way of editing, meaning that if I go to change things up later on, it's gonna be a lot easier. So to create a clipping mask, you just create a layer above the layer you want to draw within, tap on that layer and go to clipping mask. So everything I draw within this layer will be confined to the shape that's below. So this is clipped to that shape. So I'm gonna pick a black again and go over to my scratchy strands and just add some tiger stripes now. And again, everything is confined to that shape. I can also create another layer above and maybe add some nice textures as well. So clipping masks are a great way to add and build lots of different textures to your art. I'll go down, maybe I can use the dusty blush and just add a really subtle texture to one side. And what's great is I can keep going and add more and if I decide I don't like texture, I can just remove that without editing those stripes. And this leads me to using layer masks. So layer masks are another way of non-destructive editing, meaning if I want to change things up or I change my mind, it will be a lot easier. So how to do that is go to the layer that you want to make the changes. So I could go to the eraser and start to change the shape of my cat like this. But the only problem with this is if I decide that I actually preferred the original shape of my cat later on, I'm not gonna be able to get that original shape back. So a non-destructive way of editing is using layer masks. So go over to the layer that you want to add changes and tap on that and add masks. This is gonna add an extra layer above that and when I draw on that, I'm gonna be able to erase parts without it editing the original shape. So I'll go up to my black and I'm gonna pick a pure black. If I pick a off black, so maybe something that's a little bit less intense and start to erase or remove and mask out part of that layer, you're gonna see that because it's an off black, so not a pure black, you're gonna notice that this is actually transparent and we don't want this. 
So if I go back and pick a pure black, and you can do that by double tapping on this wheel, and then I'll remove this part now. So I'll just mask out the part that I want to kind of change up. Like this. I have those changes on that layer. So if I want to go back or maybe I prefer the original, I can just toggle off that layer and all of those changes can be removed. And there you have it, alpha lock, clipping mask and layer mask explained. These are amazing tools for adding into your workflow and I hope this video helped you understand how to use them in your own art. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more Procreate tutorials every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!